on this one right this is a funny story this is a uh, about a guy again talking about people having a bit of a weird uh personality and maybe being quote-unquote garbage people but also being very successful online this is a guy called ring wings of redemption right i'm sure most of you are aware of who he is on the interwebs um he's a he's one of the contingents of the low cows uh you know a group of people who um a group of streamers actually there's a lot of them out there who people on the internet have basically deemed to be um, worthy enough of um, constant ridicule online. They trolled them endlessly. And most of the times it's pretty much deserved, as we saw with the, what's his face, the dude that was involved with the incest thing with his mum. It's obviously like, you know, sometimes there's wrongings and, you know, the only way to kind of right that wrong is to, you know, relentlessly abuse them and troll them to the point where maybe something may happen and someone may intervene cool but in this case with the wings thing i'm a little bit conflicted because from what i can ascertain from the again i've not been in the wings law too far i've, I've not been in the wings law too long i've only been aware of him for the last like year and a half or some lot but from what i'm aware of the main reason why people hate him was because of how he basically acted when he was playing computer games right he was always a bit of a jerk shouting screaming you know being a little bit of a bully i guess quote unquote smashing controllers and then when he eventually ended up on this podcast called pka he had some very not so safe opinions about some interesting stuff like the you know laws on consent and stuff that he was being cancelled for recently and then i guess the major sticking point people have an issue with him for is because he's obviously being a super obese dude he basically was crying and complaining on stream a lot about his weight and then it got to a point where, for some reason, people decided to chip in some money to get him some weight surgery, right? Um, some a gastric bypass or something like that, right? To get his stomach sm uh, um, shrunk or smaller, whatever that process is called. Um, because I guess he was so fat that he needed to have that little, that little bit of help so that he could then start losing weight, you know, the normal way, quote unquote. And I guess he did that. He ended up. Um, doing it it took a while to get it sorted i think he ended up having to go to mexico or somewhere to go and do it because that's where it was cheapest and then people are basically accusing him of raising a lot of money under the guys he was going to do it in america then deciding he was going to go to mexico and then he ended up pocketing or keeping quote unquote whatever money that was left in his defense he said that money was used as treatment and all that stuff and travel and all that you know he basically took the whole money to use to cover himself but people are saying he didn't use the money right and then of course um that surgery that he said was meant to be the thing that he needed to in order to lose weight and to not be fat again he ended up going back on it he's now you know bigger than he's ever been people are alleging that he's probably close to 400 pounds or something whatever it may be who knows but um it didn't work obviously the surgery and he's just basically given up on trying to lose weight and people basically felt they've been cheated so that's basically why people hate him right but he's also like he seems all right he seems he seems harmless you know i mean he's a bit of a whinger he complains a lot probably too much for me on the internet i'm not really a fan of guys that complain a lot and whinge i think it's just not something that i'm ever really vibe with i think in general dudes should be like rocks emotionally so that other people can kind of lean on you so that you can be some so, somewhat somewhat supportive to the people in your life whereas if you're complaining and whinging all the time how do you have time enough to be strong for other people but hey what do i know so he seems pretty decent to me. Um, he's then even gone as far as getting a little side job, right? Um, working as a DoorDash driver in order to kind of get him out of the house and obviously to prove his doubt was wrong that he can't get a real job because, you know, he just sits in front of a camera all day streaming, right? Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> and then um, he got his DoorDash job and he was kind of enjoying it, you know, going around with his wife doing a little bit of a side hustle. And for whatever reason, the trolls decided to get him banned off a of DoorDash. And now you can't do that as a side gig anymore. And I'm conflicted. I'm thinking to myself, like, everyone kind of gets at him for not having a job and for not being lazy. No, for being lazy, basically. He then goes and gets a job, which, again, it's not, you know, he's not flipping. He's not a bike messenger courier or anything, but still, he still has to get out of the house, walk upstairs, pick up stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of strenuous work for somebody his size. He does it, and then they get him, tro they, they troll him, so he gets banned off the platform. Is that just, is that right, really? I think it's gone a bit too far. But anyway, let's hear what Wings has to say about it situation in general oh no i didn't i didn't play did i let me go oh, damn it i didn't put the thing on there one second i don't think the thing is on here silly boy bear with me one second i didn't put i don't think i put the sound thing on the little um 
SWB and I didn't. Oh man. Hopefully this loads in time. I'm sure you can update this sort of stuff in OBS as you're load as you're using it. You should be able to. I want to just load this, see if it's gonna work. Usually it should let you do it as you're streaming. Let's see if it works. Come on. Is it gonna work? Oh there it is, yeah, cool. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna work. Bear with me one second. Bish, bash, boom, bosh. Okay, now it should be working. Hopefully it works. I wanna hear what wings has to say, man. I wanna hear what wings has to say. Come on, brother. Get away, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, that should be working now. Hopefully this works, bear with me. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, so, um, what's the chat say here? Um, yeah, what a legend. They gave him the money. He got the surgery. The left of says, yeah, yeah, that's what I think as well. I think the, the trolling about the surgery thing was a bit... Don't get me wrong. I think what happened with him as well, this is kind of that parasocial kind of thing as well, in it, to some extent. Because he's such a miserable cunt. I mean, he's always moaning and crying online about stuff and he never wants to... He's a kind of... He, we've all got those friends in our circle, right? People that complain and moan about everything. The moment you offer them advice, they just kind of shoo it away or they, or they pretend they didn't hear you or they just do the opposite. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just enjoy the sound of their own voice moaning and whinging. And he's that kind of dude. So I think people get the impression that when he's whinging online or they, they're under the wrong impression that he's doing it because he wants help or suggestions. He doesn't. He just wants to whinge. So I think because of that, people got really invested in him losing weight and they went to help him. And the moment he just gave up because, you know, that's what he does in life. He just gives up when things get too hard. People got really annoyed. I mean, it kind of touched their cells. It really tickled them. It really tickled them. It really touched their balls, as people say, right? Um, but I don't think it was, you know, that bad of a situation. Do you know what I mean? You don't raise money for somebody to get a surgery and then you nitpick exactly how they should spend the money i mean it's like he got the surgery that was a main part of it anything else left over what's he meant to do give it back as a refund like that's a bit ridiculous but anyway let's continue here what he says effectively i've lost thirty two thousand dollars this year why did i say i lost my side hustle i haven't door dashed in like a month so <clears throat> to all Oh, what's it doing? Why is it not loading? Come on, don't be dumb. Oh, it's reloading. To all of a sudden have a customer complaint about discrimination. I don't discriminate against anybody. I don't see people, right? I don't see people. I don't text people. I don't talk to people. I stop at a restaurant. <laughs> I deliver food to a door. And I take a picture. Um, I never looked at DoorDash. I, I did DoorDash strictly to uh, put money in my savings account. So basically they just made it so I couldn't actively be putting money away for retirement and you know they killed a hobby me and my wife do right they they over here tell me they want me to do shit out the house get a job blah 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 blah, blah and then they go and take the one job that i did outside extracurricular activity no it's not just turn off the computer and it's not even cyberbullying at this point like i've had cops put assault rifles in my fucking face at that point it's beyond cyberbullying. So don't even come in here with a bullshit. I have no up. I gave you the only update I have. I I'm as transparent as I can humanly be. He wanted to reschedule for Monday. I'm so cool. I keep st stopping and starting. What's going on here? We can reschedule for Monday. End of story. That's all the context I have. Well, anyway, you you get the gist anyway because it keeps stopping us. Sorry, maybe I've got the settings up too loud. But anyway, you get the gist. Um, for whatever reason, the trolls decided to get him banned off a of DoorDash. They put in the fake claim that he was being, what did you say? He was being, uh, he was discriminatory practices or some shit like that, right? So they got him completely banned. And I guess what for whatever reason, DoorDash the way it works. If you're a ride, if you're like a rider or like a delivery person, if you get banned on DoorDash as being a driver, you also get banned on DoorDash as a customer. So you can't even use it. And if I'm not mistaken, DoorDash ha might have. Again, we don't have it in the in the UK, but I think in the US it might be one of the biggest, if not the third biggest, in terms of coverage, in terms of restaurants, in terms of how many restaurants they've got. So you lose DoorDash, you're losing quite a few selections of places that you need to order from or that you like to order from. 
obviously it helps that there's lots of other services still but you know it's such a it's such an unnecessary ball lake do you know what I mean and I don't necessarily think the the as he said I think later in the video I don't think the punishment necessarily fits the crime don't get me wrong he's a miserable cunt like I said he can be annoying to listen to but he's harmless do you know what I mean and he legitimately did try to get a little side hobby, a little side job to get him out of house and to prove everybody wrong. He gets it and then people get him banned off it. It's like, what do you want from him? Do you know what I mean? And this is, again, for the trolls or for the people that don't like him, the detractors or whatnot, this is working in his favour because now he's never, for everyone like myself included, who think people like this, you know, they complain, but they basically, they can't detach themselves from the ease of which they make a living right these people especially these like kind of full-time streamers they make anywhere especially people like of his level and like the next guy we're going to talk about dsp they make anywhere between like 30 to 100 grand per year do you know what i mean easy just like doing nothing imagine somebody paid you 30 grand per year or matched your mid your kind of entry level job or your kind of service industry you know working in a bar job just a stream even if it's flipping 1800 like i used to get paid before when i worked in a bar here in london um, you get paid like 1800 you know, flat. Um, also 18000 per year flat to be like a bartender or something. If somebody offered you that just to kind of stream online for a couple of hours a day, you would obviously do it. And no matter what the abuse, you probably would be able to put up with it because, you know, it's just too easy. Like in, in comparison to what you... Because I think that the, the, the problem still happens with him because he's actually had a real job. So when you compare how hard it is to work a real job... And how easy it is to do what he's doing. <laughs> of course, you're going to be able to just like, you know, let some of the insults and the whatever fly. But sometimes I watch some of his streams and you listen. And sometimes you go on his channel and you read through the chat and you see what they're saying about his wife and stuff. Like, honestly, there comes a point where there's not enough money in the world that would allow me to put up with that sort of disrespect online on a regular basis. It's just too much. It's not necessary. And again, the internet is great. It's amazing. I'm enjoying it also, but it's not the, It's not life. Do you know what I mean? Life is out there. You know what I mean? Um, this is obviously a great little add-on. It kind of obviously, you know, makes life a little bit more bearable or more enjoyable. You can pass away the time a little bit more, but, you know, I would never be able or be comfortable with the idea of putting myself on front street like that and then getting constantly abused and then also having to subject my family or my close friends and stuff to the same level of abuse as well and being okay with it because people are lining my pockets with tips and stuff. That's just not life. That's not worth living to me. I was trying his best, but the, the, the trolls on the internet are just not letting him live, man. They're not letting him live. And then in another episode of not letting someone live, we're going to talk about my most favorite guy online, the fate, yeah, my, my favorite locale, a person that I'm just infinitely, 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 have you say that word, um, interested with, obsessed with, and just kind of curious about how he lives his life is none other than DSP, DSP Darkside Phil, also known as Phil Brunel. Um, he's obviously the number one, the numero uno locale now, now the other guy that's in prison, or oh, the other guy should be going